Simon was stick lifted by Mark Stone. Nick Higgs winding shot. Kick to the corner by Stuart Skinner. Out of the scrum. Brett Hound draws it back. Connor McDavid, Zach Hyman have the goals tonight. For Edmonton, Jack Heichel has scored for the Golden Knights. Now Howden in back of the goal. Up top, White Cloud walks the line. Shoots it high off the glass. Eichel will get to it. A little chip pass for Haig. Stick save Skinner. Loose at the side of the goal. And Dreisaitl on the spot. But it's cut off by Ivan Barbashev. Leon Dreisaitl. Yo, what is up, everyone? Let's review, watch some hockey. Vegas Golden Knights versus Edmonton Oilers. First stream of the series. Reason being is that... I'm an, a Vegas fan. My dad's an Oilers fan, so I prefer just watch the games with them. So that's why there hasn't been that many. But if I guess Vegas makes it the next round, then there'll be more. The reason I'm streaming this now is because I'm not of my dad's place, so. So we'd be chilling. We'd be watching the game with y'all now. I'll be watching the game with y'all now. So, Habs update. Toronto is out of the playoffs. Florida almost swept them. So that means the pick drops from 16. To one, at least 29 now. Minimum 29. So, yeah. Wrestled in the corner, taken down by McNabb. As we see the evidence, now it pops out. Ekholm is pinching down the wall. Let me adjust the mic for here so I'm not yelling in you guys' ears. But yeah. So I got back into Fall Guys yesterday. I played Fall Guys with some friends. So. And there's no creator level, so there's just like craziness now on Fall Guys. And Epic, there's Legend of Zelda music they're playing. Like, new Legend of Zelda game is out today. So, once I've reached the certain level of my motivation game thing, I'll be getting that. I'll be getting that game as a reward. It's basically what I. What I mean, my motivation game just. Yeah, I'm a. I have a thing. I have like a Google Sheets where it's like, alrighty. So if I stream, I get five points. And then it's like, if I exercise, I get ten points. And then there's like a couple other tasks that merits points and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So, once I reach the next level, level 9, I'll be getting Breath of the... Uh, not Breath of the Wild, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. So hype. Recently, games haven't been interesting me as much. And I really liked Breath of the Wild. I grind the shit out of that game. I was supposed to get Minecraft Legends, but I saw that Tears of the Kingdom was coming up. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice not getting that game for now. So money-wise, money reasons. And then, and then, um, uh. And I'll get Tears of the Kingdom instead. My, I haven't tried out or seen footage of Minecraft Legends like some people get. I mean, gameplay. 
I haven't seen that yet, so I don't know how good Minecraft Legends is, but Tears of the Kingdom is looking pretty good. I've heard already lots of good things about it, and I've I've seen I've like watched like five minutes of someone playing it, and also I saw the gameplay trailer or the live stream. So pretty hyped. I'll try to get myself into the reason, one of the reasons why I haven't been streaming that much this week is that I kind of just had like I haven't like because my vehicle being out of action I've been able to sleep in and like and the reason that being is that I work as a delivery driver so because my vehicle is out there goes my like work so that's, a, that's why alright yeah let me check how's, the, how's things looking on the streaming side of things oh there you go I hear myself There you go. And out of play. He scored one from right there. Did echo with that shot from that angle. Tough angle there. He's just a little bit off. Hello, Connor McDavid. You know, there's no speed in the neutral zone. There's not much going on there. He gets his stick parallel. Theodore thought maybe that was a hook, but here he goes through it. It's impressive at ice level to watch him compete and roll off bodies. And that's what you love about him. A little earlier in this period, just on the back check, same thing. He's so good because his speed allows him to get back in position, and he's got a great little active stick defensively. That little stick... Alrighty, I have my phone set up so I can actually see the stream now. Hopefully you all can hear... The game, yes, okay. He did not get to it. Icing is perfect though. Take it all the way back in the Vegas zone. I lifted it up too, just in, just so if, just so it can actually be picked up more too. Perfect though. Boom 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 to get out of their own end, but then you can have speed through the neutral zone, and that sets up the forecheck that they fed off. Wait, does it pick up my breathing? One win for the Oilers in that game. Now Ryan. Ryan McLeod. Here's Warren Fogel. He's picked up by Martinez. He'll rim it all the way around. Okay, it doesn't. I, I, I was like, you, get, you guys just casually just hearing just casually hearing my breathing. Playoffs continue tomorrow at 7. The Kraken look to force a game 7. Gotcha. Through fly. Catch that game on ESPN. Don't miss a minute. Oh, yeah. Let's go. The Leafs are now. Out. That's epic. Well, the Lights have been a strong second period team. We're gonna have to take over once again here. Down a goal. So there's a guy, Riley Smith, had four shots leading Vegas after that first period. Still looking for his first of the postseason yeah. this year. So next week you might see a new haircut. Keyword might depend. Depends if I remember to, to ask to get a haircut. But yeah, I'm sorry. Get, I'm sorry. Get annoyed with my hair being able to go all the way to my nose. Good to see him back at Edmonton's lineup. Two on one. He and CC Yanmark in front. Fan down by CC. Oh. And sprawling out. Thank God. Come on, Vegas. Tie this up. Yanmark now for CC. He'll get it deep. Aiden Hill moves the puck. 
Ben Hutton, Teddy Bluger, and now Keegan Colasar. I am tired, so if you hear me talking less, then that is why. I am more of a daytime streamer, not a nighttime streamer. So these Vegas games sometimes kill me. They kill my energy. I mean, Martinez kicks it out. Kulak will trap the zone. Yamamoto cycles out with it. Turns it off the end boards. Dry sidle is lurking. Deharnay calling for it. Brett Kulak. A shot stopped. Oh. And it deflects. No, never mind. Thank God. Gets to it. Vander Kane is all over Ben Hutton. Chandler Stevenson hurried up by Dry sidle. And the Golden Knights are. Alrighty. Like you can tell, I was just tired of Frick last time I did one of these streams. And like Vegas even won the series. It was like the game that Vegas won a series with. And I was just like chilling and just vi like just vibing. And there wasn't that many emotions. That's how I might be in the third period if they don't end up being a lead. I'm usually way more hype. Ooh! My man slid to try to get back on side. So the Golden Knights knocking on the door here in game number five. Alright, commercial break. Turn on that music. Ooh. What did I do? Hello? There we go. Oh yeah, how is the quality like? Have we been dropping frames or anything? I've been using Safari, so my CPU isn't being like fully full on being used here. That oh wait, we have been dropping frames, but it's not as bad. If I do see it's getting bad, then I'll just be like, okay, I guess we're not doing this, but We'll see, we'll see. Come on. I know today the internet's been funky. So. There may be times where I drop frames, but it shouldn't be as like consistent that it disrupts the stream and it just makes it unwatchable. At least I think it shouldn't be that way. So far only three frames have been missed due to rendering like according to my OBS. So that is good. John Forsland along with Shane Knighty and Jody Shelley. At ice level, hand pass or stop play. 12.55 left here in the second period. Uh, Edmonton with a 2 to 1 lead. There might not yet. Yeah, for the uh, Golden Knights, that's Ryan Smith. We talked about earlier. He's uh, on the wing. Uh, and was in the middle of this line. Forsland's uh, at winger on this line. And you know, he did have a baby. He was up all night with William Carlson. So they're gonna watch him a little bit. All right, like, come on. And they also dress Bluger to have that extra center. Go Knights, go, line. go Knights, go, go Knights, go, go Knights, go. Right off the plane. Yes. Sure yeah, I know you, you wonder pretty much. Believe 1:30 a.m. this morning. Beckham, Carlson. Come on, don't Welcome let to Oilers the bring us to the brink of elimination. William and Emily. Out of the corner now. Ekholm will get to it. 
I won't be, I'll be sad if that is the case. In Edmonton through the center zone, a foot race. Barbashev on the off wing, a power move. Ooh, he's the short side. William Carlson, Jonathan Marchessault. Remember one of the Jets versus Knights game? I ended up doing play by play for the overtime because, like, their commentary is just totally off. Go, Knights, go! Go, Knights, go! Go, Knights, go! Go, Knights, go! Knights, go. Since he's with the Edmonton Oilers and something he's. I do have experience doing play by play. Uh, I had to do that for one of my my school assignments. At the top of your screen, Eichel will feed it in. Cece. I did play by play for for esports broadcast. Ryan McLeod will pop it out to center. Derek Ryan will knock it down. All right, come on. Clear it in. Fogel's in first. Good angle played by Martinez, though. He'll move it to the point. CeCe. And now Brett Kulak. It's the handle back. Gets it from McLeod. It's by him. Martinez has a tough time. Yanmark in control. Ryan McLeod through the slot. Circling the track. Forced wide a bit by Martinez. Go around the world with it and get it deep. Now CeCe moves up. Bro, come on. The Oilers. He's greeted there by Ben Hutton. They jam. Out of that scrum, Yanmark. Good pressure here by Edmonton. Vogel all over Martinez. Marcheseau with a tight turn. And Skinner now will leave it in back of the goal. A little trouble brewing here with the Golden Knights. It was by Bukestad. Martinez in control. He'll get it out. The Golden Knights a little casual there in their own end with the puck. And you see the Oilers, the pressure. I'm like starting to dive here too right now. Now Ben Hutton. How about Aiden Hill? A couple times we've seen him just play that puck under pressure. I kind of figured I would stream this game tonight because like it's literally been a week or something since I was last stream, so. He was out there for two minutes and ten seconds. He just came back and Or I guess, I guess the last time I did stream was Monday because of the NHL lottery. I stream my reaction to that. And I was a sad boy in that stream. That day, I was just like, after that lottery, I was just completely sad after that was done. Like, my emotions were so down. Also, like, my... The OHL team I cheer for... Um, uh, got eliminated. So... It was like a two for two sadness. The only thing that could that brought my emotions up a bit was Vegas winning against Edmonton. But like I was just a sad boy for the whole the whole night. And like it actually made me tired. <laughs> like that like the last couple days before that I was like I just had a bad sleep schedule because I ended up I ended up watching Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 and I had I ended up sleeping late that night and then so I was just watching TikToks of it and everything and then and then that just ruined my sleep schedule but that night I, was, I ended up being so sad that like I ended up sleeping at like 11 p.m. Which is not my usual sleep schedule. Knocking on the door, and Hill had none of that. Aiden Hill comes up big. 9:01 left to go in the second period. The intensity of this great. Man, that was like. You're watching the Stanley Cup playoffs on TNT. That was something. Like honestly, this week has just been cursed. Well, at least this, I'm ending off the weekend great. For, for personal reasons. Alright, you've only missed three other frames due to rendering lag, so... 
not that bad. It gets way worse by the next by the next commercial break. If I see this double, then it'll be lights out. But we'll see what happens. If there is rendering lag, lag, then I'll just like, I'll like, I'll power through it until the end of this period and then that'll be it. But, because if it keeps on, like if it gets worse, then they'll just uh, This second period. Face off as we see in the Vegas zone. Off the draw. Braden McNabb, chipped out by Carlson. Riley Smith, a lead feed for Nick Waugh. Excellent back check. Connor McDavid. Example there, what Bruce was talking about, that one more play. They're just kind of getting killed there as they get into that. All right, come so on. Go, Knights, go. They get in the dangerous area. That was a great play out of their own end with speed and a good back check. Also, what might influence me in this stream longer in power through the lag is if, is if Vegas ends up tying things up. Carlson. Gets to it, shoved, separated from the puck by... We'll Hunt. see what happens. I think Barbashev goes deeper with it. Skinner leaves it. Brevin Bouchard who sings it off a stick. I'm just Barbashev. glad this game isn't another blowout, though. Yeah, this is all this this series has been. First game, except for the first game. First game was, like, pretty close. Then the third period, it kind of got out of hand for Edmonton. Like, Edmonton ended up letting in some goals. But game two, Vegas like kicked some ass, and then game three, Edmonton kicked some ass, and then wait, game one was pretty close. Game two. Now through the center right yeah, game two. Sorry, Edmonton. Edmonton fucking dominated. And then game three, Vegas dominated. Uh, game four, Oilers dominated. And now we're back to a close game. And this is game five. I think he was in a bit of a collision in the corner. He was front row, but that call is made, and you're right. It's Vegas Golden Knight officials. They're on top of it. Oh, and this is the matchup the Golden Knights want. Jack Eichel against Broberg. Young defenseman here on the Oilers to just strength, speed, try to fight him off. Eventually draws the call. And shame, so shame, the shame. I think that's what they're saying. The shame, shame. And coach mentioned to you, Jody, to finish off the plays, the chances they get here on the power play. Yeah, the next play. All right, the next commercial break, I'll do a be right back thing because... Me will refill my drink. Still trying to click on the power play. Oh for three, five shots for Vegas. They look to make good on this one. Big scrum out of the pile of Echo. Further down the zone by Nugent Hopkins. Your Golden Knights are on the end. Keep energy power play. Anchors this A unit, Michael Stone navigating through, hooked up his stick, Jan Mark and My dream job is probably being, is probably working for the, the Montreal Canadiens or the Vegas Golden Knights and being like the people on the Jumbotron, like the works, that works, like that, like does the stuff for the Jumbotron. I've done that in school for another team. It was pretty epic. So, doing that for an NHL team, and specifically the Golden Knights or the Montreal Canadiens, would be awesome. Five on three? 
are looking for a moment. This is it. Let's go. Five on three. All righty. This is it. Freaking benefit out of this, boys. This series of Vegas, I guess Vegas were, was able to come back in the first game, but this series has been like they haven't been able to come back after, but that's because like they've been like dominated. But outside of this series, Vegas is, has been easily able to come back in game, so I haven't given up hope in this game. I mean, it's literally just, it's literally just two one. So, like honestly, any team sh should be able to tie things up. Unless the goalie ends up being on fire, but yeah. Yeah! Mark Stone! Let's fucking go. All right, maybe we're staying longer. Depending on if the if it continues lagging, but yeah, next peer, next commercial break, I'm going to refill my drink, so I'll be fast. So I'll be like, I go fast. Noise. Fucking wrap around, but in front. That's what that goal was. Alright, now five on four. Nice. We're still on the power play. Fucking take advantage of it. Oh, shit! The, what a fucking save. Holy shit. My god. Winner, going on. All right, come on. Come on. Yes! We have come back. Speaking of come back, there you go. Woo! Knights, go, Knights, go, go, Knights. The assist by McDavid and skate. Nice bank shot. Bank pass. Alright, come on. Let's do this. Two goals in 29 seconds. Holy shit. Yeah, definitely getting another drink at the commercial break now. Winner, going on. Alrighty, five minutes to go in this period, boy. Alright, commercial break. <laughs> I want to go refill my drink. I'm guessing not. Stone his fifth from Eichel and Marcia. 
One series is tied two to two. Game five winner wins series 78.9% of the time. All right, yes, Paul. All righty, I'll be quickly back. So we are dropping frames. It, like I said, <laughs> it wasn't for the. Holy fuck, they scored again! It's 4 2. Holy frick! Well, Jack Eichel made the play, but watch the work before. Here's in front of the net. Eichel got his goal going in the front of the net. It's a battle. Damn, they knew I was coming, so they, they're replaying it now. Damn. Alrighty, we got a game. He let it go so quick. You know, it's just one of those shots you don't really think you put your head down and release it. And it almost like it had eyes there as it went past Skinner. Where's Tim Wakefield when you need him? Off the draw. Out to center. Come on. Clear it in. Good look at Broberg. Youngster in a tough spot in this series. It comes out. Dry sidle. CC right up. No, buddy. Hill. Fucking save the rest of the of the spots here. Games two and four when the Oilers won. Not a lot of five on five. Those guys paired together. They went with the four. Kind of four line six D. But now these situations when they're behind. Bing bong. Bing bong. Unafraid here to load up this line as Kane out there with those two. Here come the big boys. McDavid, Dreisaitl, Kane. As the sheriff points out. Stevenson on the draw. Can I get a high? Oh, yeah. Surge from the Vegas Golden Knights in a short period of time would change the atmosphere. Can I get a? And as a player, oh yeah. The bench, you want oh yeah. Right now, the coach Can I get a? Oh yeah. Push back. Vander Kane. 
Chandler Stevenson for the Golden Knights. Under the sea. Right Don't touch me. It's help. Or does he? Never mind, this is not fall, guys. Stevenson cradles the puck. Shouldered hard by Bouchard. Roughed up again is Stevenson. Alright, I'm gonna have to make a new be right back video Spice because that Echol. video's been played Here so many freaking times. Matias Ekholm. Skate the stick, McDavid a shift. Good sweet check. I'm gonna have to compile video the clips from present to the back checking of Nick the pass. Good stick by Kulak. Here come the Oilers. Obviously, keep some of the ones that's in the video already, but I'll shuffle them up. So that's a different order. But yeah, I'll, I like doing editing, so honestly, don't mind it. Like, you can tell my Tell Me Studios channel how much I've been into editing recently. Like, to the corner now. Zach Hyman muscled a bit by McNabb. It comes around Nick Waugh in the skates of Ivan Barbashev. Ekholm turning stick of Bukestad. Furthered in by Zach Hyman. Carlson broken up. CC on the way back. Cody CC. Matias Ekholm will spin it off the boards. It's a handle for Aiden Hill. Zach Whitecloud. Oh. 120 left. Second period play. Game five. Series tie. Four How do I pin a comment here? Ryan. I'm in my OBS. Through the center zone. Shouldered a bit by Carrier. Nick Hague reverses it. Right to an oil. I'll be pinned this. Never mind, I guess not. It's not it's not happening. And now White Cloud has time to break it out. Thank you, A to me twenty twenty for reminding me of doing that. So Alright, get ready for the stream to log on. I'm hoping uh, White Cloud uh, Opera. Luger will get it deep. 30 seconds. Offer GX. It lags the fuck out of my computer. Oh boy. Who has the penalty here? Okay, Matias Ekholm. Perfect though. Oh shit, someone's injured. Oh, Matias Ekholm is the one injured. Jobs to finish hits, but Ekholm in a vulnerable position right here. You're looking at. I'm trying to pin a comment right now. Oh. Oh, I haven't been looking. At this point in the game and how All right, come on. Is, you've got to be aware pin this shit, buddy. Ekholm being tended to right now. The officials will huddle. Hello. How they will determine the amount of time. There you go. Minor, major, and so on. Well, Bull Knights have talked all along about the importance of discipline in this series. And, and there you go. The Done. Okay, now Here close off for GX before it kills my stream. Yeah, not surprised that that's a five yeah it went from. 17 to 48 miss frames like make a lot my stream just completely died out so it's a five minute major for now and they'll take a look at it and at home stayed down the head medical trainer for the oilers waited on the bench he had one foot up he was waiting to see what was happening but it's clear now as that goes down the runway with not only a bloody nose damn that comes and it's gone power play Said the Oilers now. Well, wow, five minutes. Then he's a look earlier at the. Bro, are they seriously doing a commercial break when there's 23 seconds remaining? Just wait 23 seconds, my boy. In good position. And quick work with the man. Okay, good. That was like, bro. This is. Exactly the situation the Edmonton Oilers want to be in. Five minutes to work. Yeah, Edmonton Oilers' power play is very deadly. So, 
And here, a four check undisciplined. This can make things go to one goal. Damn, game misconduct for whoever got that penalty. I, I missed the, the fucking one of the key plays of this game. Oof. And sometimes that's easier to do than set. Yeah, yeah, exactly. then you, you can talk about it, but think about the series. It's in high emotion. Guys have been suspended. I was now busy pinning a call, and I missed that hit. Colasar? Colasar? It goes wrong. Probably not what he intended. It goes wrong. Ekholm gets hurt. And now you've given Colasar. Uh, I guess we'll see when I do the period review. Oh boy, McDavid. Oh, five minutes. It's a major two. Boy, this is gonna, Edmonton's going to benefit out of this so much. They have, like like what the commentators say, they have the freaking best power, power play. And they've benefited so much out of the Golden Knights going on penalty here. So, if, if Vegas, and like, also, last time Vegas had a major penalty that has affected them a lot was when it, they were against San Jose, and that penalty, that major penalty basically decided the face of that series. So, I swear to God, if this is what happens for <laughs> for this game... It's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty depressing. <laughs> All right, so it uh, slowed down. The miss frame slowed down after I, after I decide, after I, I decide to get off Opera GX. So we should be good. All right, time to review this period. Well, we'll do the first two periods since I missed the first one. First period, Edmonton got two goals. Vegas got one. And then the second period, Vegas got three goals. Now, it's four to two as you see there. People scored in the first period was McDavid by Nugent Hopkins and Hyman. Then Jack Reichold scored, which was assisted by Martinez and Marshall. And then the last goal of that period was Zach Hyman, assisted by Nugent Hopkins and Bouchard. Second period, Mark Stone scored on the power play, 5 on 3, by Eichel and Marshall. Then the second goal was by Riley Smith but on the 5 on 4 with Barbish assisted by Barbish and Carlson and then the latest goal Nicholas Hag scored it and it was assisted by Eichel and March so so shots on goal the first period was 15 to 8 yeah and then second period is well that's for for Edmonton and then <laughs> for and then Vegas first period, they got 11 shots. And on the second period, they got 12. So in total, the shots are now tied 23 to 23. So a pretty close game. So now power plays. Vegas. Is it Vegas? Yeah, Vegas got five power plays. They only scored two. Edmonton has had three power plays and they score on two of them. So three. So their power play efficiency is right now at 67%, whereas Vegas is at 40%. Now you know what I mean for sure about these freaking this Edmonton Oilers power play. If you didn't know before, faceoff wins. Vegas has 55%. Oilers have 45 block shots. Oilers has 11. Vegas has 8. And then takeaways. Vegas has 7. And Edmonton has 8. And then giveaways. Oilers have more more giveaways. They have 9. So if my theory is correct, then the Oilers 
are going to be losing this game. And Vegas has five sh shots. Hits 22, Vegas 21. Winnipeg penalty first period. Harley Smith hooked Evan Bouchard. Then there was a delayed game on Edmonton's part, which was served by Zach Iman. Then Vegas Hag tripped Fugle. And then Edmonton's Yamamoto interfered Bluger. Then Edmonton's Broberg held Hounded. Then the second period, Broberg called Eichel, Edmonton, the Yang Mart, a, a high staking against Eichel. Vegas is cold, sorry, got a kick. And then what we just saw is cold, sorry, uh, misconduct, and it was for boarding against Eichel. Yeah, that's it for that. So I will be back when the period restarts. Whoops, I totally didn't forget to check on my laptop. I went to go use the washroom. And now it's 3-4, damn. Damn, we're nice, we're at, we're at 30, 69 frames missed. No, yeah, let's put that there. Perfect. Oh, I have a perfect place. All right, I'm gonna fix the background here. But first, let me do this. Okay, perfecto. All right, so game center thing two. Put it to period three, and then that's fine. Okay, we're good. Now, let's watch this. Damn. I meant in, uh, um, Vegas got another fucking penalty after all that. Or right, never mind, that's it. That's that's the power penalty. They, they only ended up letting in one goal. That's epic. That's actually pretty good. They didn't let that decide their serious faith. Like, that's what happened with San Jose, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'll do that messenger. Messing my brother about that. Well, yeah. So, what I mean is that literally, I, I mean, I'm repeating myself because I am pretty sure I said it before the intermission, but yeah. Last time, Vegas has had a five minute major in a, uh, in a series. It was against San Jose, and I think it was round one. And, and then the San Jose ended up capitalizing on that so much. I was like, it was like rest in pepperoni. Just like because of that, I think it was even like a game four or something situation. I got, I got to look back. But because of that five minute major, it basically decided the faith of the series. Like it was. Like, when I was watching that, I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. I was so sad. But yeah, Chicago Blackhawks are going to get Bedard. Crazy. 
Then, what? And Ducks are gonna end up with Fenty Lee. Then whoever gets third, uh, then uh, Columbus, I mean, is probably gonna end up with Carlson. And then it's either gonna be San Jose is either gonna get Mitchkov or Carlson. Uh, not Carlson. Yeah, yeah. Wait, no, Mitchkov or, or Smith, Smith, and then vice versa for fifth overall. I've heard some rumors that Montreal might try to trade up, but I seriously doubt it. That will be possible. Like the fucking top five are like Montreal. Regardless, even if they do trade up or not, they'll be getting a good player anyway. So like, but if they do manage to somehow trade up, then I'm assuming it's probably gonna be they'll be giving away their other first round pick. Either that or their second round pick. But then there would have to be a player with that. And it's probably going to be like a prospect. Like, probably going to be Hudson, but I think they're... I hope they don't... I don't want them to trade Hudson. Like, Hudson's fucking... I, 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 hope, I hope he ends up... He ends up in uh, Montreal. He ends up... Uh, Montreal Canadiens. I mean, he is a Montreal Canadian player now, but like, he is still in college, so like, he hasn't like officially wore the regular the the jersey in a regular season game. Yeah, I like how I'm just talking all good about the the Habs here and. Uh, this is actually a Vegas Golden Knights type of game. You can tell that my first, my most favorite team is the Habs. If you didn't already. Alright, so. I don't know why my MacBook does this, but. It's at my MacBook. I just realized it's at 1%. And as soon as I plug in this, this charger here. It's going to close. So we're going to have a, like a couple second break. From streaming here so hopefully it doesn't take that long but I don't know why MacBooks do that it's like it's still a 1% so I don't know why you're fucking shutting down as soon as I plug this in like it should be like not shutting down but alrighty if it shuts down then I'll see y'all in a couple seconds three Two, one. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, are we still around now? Oh, please, please. Okay, we are here. Okay, so then shut down the, the stream, thank god. Let me refresh the NHL TV. Hello? Are you guys seeing this? Hello? Yes, I'm still here. Okay, perfecto. Alrighty, so... Yeah, my MacBook did shut down, but... By miracle, the stream didn't die. I'm guessing it went to, like, temporary sleep mode. So, question. I know nobody's fucking watching, but should I should I stream The Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom, or should I, should I just like do that stuff offline and play on my own and have a good time? Regardless, it's a good time, but should I do it on stream? 
if there's no replies or comments, then I'm going to do it offline. But if somebody actually comments, then you better watch the streams <laughs> when I do it. And I'll be streaming it. I know millions of people are streaming it right now, so that's like the least unique thing I could be doing, but I would do it. Legend of Zelda games, thanks to my friend in grade 8, my best friend in grade 8 and grade 7, I got into Legend of Zelda. My first Legend of Zelda game was actually on the 3DS and it was Link Between Worlds where you get where you got to like switch the dimensions or whatever. And then after that it was the Legend of the Four Links. Yeah. And then ever since then I've just been in love with Legend of Zelda. Like I got Hyrule Roars. I got a couple other games, but yeah. Wait, don't tell me they got another fucking five minute major. Are you fucking kidding me? Bruh, what the fuck? What happened? Alright, let me go. Are you kidding me, bro? With authority. Aiden Hill now will set the table. Marsh does it let me do this? Okay. Uh, the graphic may change temporarily, but I gotta see what fucking happened here. Warren Fool high sticking. Oh, it's just a double minor, okay. Good. But still like why would you do that? <laughs> Whenever I hear Deharnay, I think of the Habs player Deharnay. Oh damn. Oh my god, Vegas! Don't do like Toronto and fucking injured players to win the series. Like first, Buddy Petrangelo fucking went like this to Nurse, or no, sorry, not nurse, dry sidle. Oh shit, he fucking elbowed him in the face. God damn, Vegas, stop being like Toronto. Fucking hell, bud. Oh, it was Vegas power play that had the fucking. I don't know. They had the they had the double minor. Edmonton ended up getting double minors. So now it's four and four. My God, I'm just not realizing things here. Yeah. All right. There was no reply, so I'm playing the game offline. <laughs> totally not a way of being like, like nobody's watching me, so I can make the decision without any input. I more so do these streams just so I can get, I can go back and see how my reaction stuff was, but mostly why I did the lottery stream, so I could just. Flip myself my reaction to whatever pick Vegas, uh, Montreal got. That's literally my reason why I started streaming was because I wanted to like have a way of seeing my reaction stuff in the past. I don't, I don't really care how I do these streams do. But obviously I commentate because just in case there happens to be someone watching the stream and I make it interesting. And I mean I do have like 118 followers so there has to be eventually someone that watches this so that watches this in the future or whatever the heck i know the tell j studios 2 channel has been like doing good so there must be some people watching this if you do watch this 
problem in the section saying F. I love you guys for watching this. most said words but yeah anyways so therefore basically anyways I already said that uh what else do I say what else uh ah uh, that's another one silence that's another one that's another one, is an another one. Those are like my most common ones. Bruh, these that started and then nobody's watching now. Eek! Dun 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, is there already a one view to this little like just me that just made this clip? Alright, go live. This game has started. What did I do? What did I do? Bruh, go back. Come on. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. There you go, we're back. But well, it's muted. Right, a there you go. Like got... Ten more minutes in this period. What? Almost ended up being tied. Hey, it's your power play. What the fuck are you doing letting these players make David score? Like, try to get a, almost get a score on your buddy? Come on! Bro, I saw this, like, clip from, from Schlatt, and he's like, the only reason I'm this excited is because I drink, and to be honest, I guess that is a way of getting more commentary out of yourself. But I can't really drink during these during these vods because I'm scared somebody I, that's about to employ me in the future sees this and sees me drinking alcohol. The the devil's drink. So all this commentary is 100% for me and not being is. It's 100% me being sober. I know I did do that stuff before, but sadly, that is done because I'm like, and all those videos are private in. Because I don't want, I don't want future employers see me doing streams drunk. And be like, oh. This person drinks on stream? What? Does he worry about his public image? If I do worry about my public image. The world we come to. Yeah, no more. Sh no streams like that coming from this. If I were to have be able to be. If I were to be able to do streams where. If I were to become a streamer that makes money only off of streaming and like social media, then obviously I would do stuff like that, but, and then like literally I wouldn't have to worry about getting 
employed by other people but obviously as you see right now i only have four average stream viewers so i gotta be careful of what i say so i can get employed in the future so anyway stop talking about employment and alcohol let's watch this game it's four three vegas and pretty epic vegas survived a major penalty Edmonton did survive a double ma minor, so yeah. Special teams aren't that big of a factor in this game, but it sort of is like a 50-50 actually. Uh, oh yeah, I just realized shots on goals are like almost tied up. Like Edmonton has one more, but the score says says the other one. The score says that Vegas was able to score more by one goal, though. I'm assuming Edmonton got their goal on the power play because I wasn't watching when that power play was going on. I was busy. At the washroom. I was busy doing business. Let's say that. This is water. Because it's freaking hot. And I'm in the basement where it's usually cold. Stars and Kraken. I'm, I'm low-key hoping for the Kraken to win that series because... It would be awesome to have a fucking Vegas Golden Knights versus the Seattle Krakens in the conference finals. Like, like they're saying right now, it's Florida Panthers versus Carolina Hurricanes in the in the in the Eastern Conference Finals. Sorry, Florida Panthers. I know you've had your troubles in the playoffs, but I am hoping for Carolina Hurricanes to win this. Conference those conference files because unlike every other Habs fan, I still like Cockney Cockney is one of my favorite players, even though he's underperform. He's his his potential has gone down for the reason being. Well, I'm not gonna say it, but because of the reason being is kind of a personal thing. But yeah. Players couldn't locate that puck for a second, but Bouchard found it. I would kind of like give out some personal stuff if I say why. Chandler Stevenson. Just about 14 minutes gone in the third period. Stevenson can really scoop Marcia's up. That's awesome. Four average viewers right now. That's awesome. Moved along by Cece. Cody Cece for Before we had only one, so. The fact that I'm at four average views right now. Thank you all for watching. Thank you so much for watching this. It means a lot to me. And if you want to follow, at 120, 120 followers, I'm actually going to be doing a a hot like the Bean Boozle hot. Uh, Hot jelly beans challenge. So if you want to see that, I recommend following. Literally, we're two followers away from 120 followers, so we're not that far away. I have I already have everything ordered, so. Let's see. Yeah, we're we're ready to go for that challenge. It's a matter of when I hit that challenge, that follower amount. We're at five minutes left in this period. Come on, hold that lead for the last five, four and a half minutes, boys. Let's go. Can I get a high? Oh, yeah. 
Thank you, it's me. Er. Oh, sorry, no, it's, it's not a, it's me that said that. It's Ghost of Telgy that redeemed that epic. Thank you, Ghost of Telgy, for ta doing that. My god, it's me has gone for so much stuff. He mess they she messes me and I'm glad she was able to beat cancer proud of her messing me when that was happening like he's been one of my most consistent viewers I've done some gaming with her in the past. But yeah, this week I'm going to try to do a me, me versus my Amiibo stream. On top of the hockey stuff, I do do Super Smash Bros. Ultimate content and also do... I used to do NHL 23 comment, content. I did a franchise mode. I know I did say, I know I did say in one of my, like in my finale video that probably the next time I would do a, vi a franchise made of a video, it would be when NHL 24 comes out, but I did recently discover custom, custom Rosh Surge, so I might do one with that because the franchise mode I did do was with the NHL 23 basic roster, so we didn't have the American players, the the NCAA players and honestly because of the hockey guy I've gotten to know way more about the other teams so I may have some more I may have some more NHL videos just in general to talk about like I'm thinking of doing a tier list video of like how I think teams will do next year I mean I'm not as knowledgeable as the hockey, hockey guy, but it would be cool to do. Um, I'd be cool to just do a, a prediction video and see how it measures up. Like, I'm thinking of doing a like, of doing a a tier list video, and then, and then we can compare it. Like, once the next next season is over, we I'll be able to compare it, see how I fought. Renew. I mean right now it's kind of too early to see what happens so actually I think what I would do is I do a tier list now off of what I've heard off of the hockey guy and just like just in general of all the YouTube videos I've seen and all that stuff but I'll do that and then I'll do a hockey tier list video at the beginning of next season compared to that the one I'm gonna do soon and then once that's over, I'll do one at the end of the season of next season and see how did I do? How did I how did my my feelings about how teams would do change? I feel like that would be a nice uh, it would be a, an interesting thing to do. I know probably lots of other people do it, but like I don't know. It'll be like how's fan predicts NHL the NHL's the NHL 2023 24 season. Oh, I'll just do a spoiler alert right now. I think Chicago might improve on what they are doing right now. Like, they might not be a tanking team next season, but they'll they'll still be pretty mid. Like, I don't think Carrie, Connie, uh, I know Connor Bedard may be an awesome fucking player, but I don't think he'll be able to bring the Chicago Black so Blackhawks from a tanking team that literally got rid of Kane and Taze to to um, uh, a playoff contender. I just feel like that's unrealistic. Like, one of the re like I was really hoping that Bedard was gonna end up on a team like either Montreal. Or Anaheim, or 
maybe Colum Columbus. I know they have Goudreau and a couple other players. But if they, he would have ended up on on the Ducks or Montreal. They both they both are teams that have young players that are gonna grow the young core pieces that are gonna grow with with Bedard. And especially Montreal. They have Caulfield, Suzuki, Slavkowski, Hudson, Gooley. Like Montreal would have a like they would have like they would be set. But I mean the players are still young, so they wouldn't immediately be able to compete for the Stanley Cup, but they would be in a better position than Chicago is right now. Like, honestly, I was, and I mean, I'm a Habs fan, so obviously, you know why I would be hoping for Bedard. Well, it was just uh, that awesome of a player. Like, he's like a Crosby, Ovechkin, McDavid level player. Like, he will change a franchise. And I mean, you guys have heard this like a million times. I know there's still haters of him, but obviously i've seen that like watching him at the world juniors it's all the defied how i feel about him and i mean montreal i hope the my my pick of the draft i think if if fan, i know obviously fan is gonna be picked second if carlson and smith is already picked and Mechchov end up being dropped to fifth, then I surely hope Mechchov gets picked by Montreal. Honestly, the only loss with him is if he ends up sticking to the KHL. But, to be honest, he will be going to the KHL until like, I, I forgot how long, but I feel like Montreal will be in a competing stage when that happen, when he does end up in the NHL, and if that is the case, then he will be an amazing ad, but he'll also be cheap. So, like, to be honest, it's not a loss. And if, and if the world does go to, sh and if, and if politics stuff happens, then you can't really blame, you can't really fault M Montreal for picking, like. Like, it won't be like Kakeniami where he was predicted to be doing, but then he ended up, but then Bergevin ended up letting him go to Carolina. So, that was just like rest and pepperonis news. But yeah, I mean, to be fair, if, uh, yeah. That was just the rest in Yeah, I just feel like Montreal should pick Mitchkov. If he if he is still available then. And Will Smith and or Carlson. If Will Smith and Carlson are available then obviously pick the better one. But honestly whichever team ends up if Mitchkov ends up going to the NHL, whatever team that ends up having him is going to benefit majorly off of that. And honestly, if it is, the, I've heard people saying that, like, Washington will end up picking him. And if Washington does end up picking him, holy shit, that they're going to be so good. Could you imagine Ovi and fucking Mitchkov? That would be awesome. Vegas leads the lead and brought Oilers to the fucking point of elimination, buddy. Next game is gonna be fucking awesome. Dun -dun 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 -dun.
Alrighty, let's fucking review this game. Thank you for watching the stream. But yeah, alrighty, game center. So! Excuse me. Alright, I'm gonna just full screen this. Alrighty, where's the fucking transform thing? Oops, wrong one. I like how I've just been talking about the le the not the Leafs uh, that have this entire time, even though this is like a Vegas Golden Knights type of deal, such a video. Alright, now, boom, perfecto. So, let me interact with that. So, in the end, <laughs> Vegas ended up. Vegas won the game 4 3, but the. The goals, Edmonton got two goals in the first period, Vegas got one. In the second period, Vegas got three, but, and then the third period, Edmonton did score once on that major penalty, but Vegas didn't score at all. But it wasn't enough in the end. Vegas won 4 3. And the scoring was Connor McDavid in first period, this is by Hopkins and Hyman, J Jack Eichel. Scored the second, first goal from Vegas. He replied like right off the bat. And it was assisted by Martinez and Marcio. Zach Hyman scored the second goal for Oilers. And it was assisted by Hop Nugent Hopkins and Bouchard. So then Mark Stone replied to that second period. And it was assisted by Eichel and Marcio. The, and then Vegas got a third goal like literally within like think we said like 29 seconds and then Smith first goal of the series uh, like the entire playoffs and it was assisted by Barbashev Carlson and then hi hey Vegas player he also got he also got a goal and it was assisted by Eichel and March so then we went to the third pair McDavid got a goal on that power play the major power play and it was assisted by Bouchard Freaking McDavid, he's awake. He's awake. So, do not let him freaking go out Vegas. So, anyways, part of the whole stats of everything Edmonton, shots and goals 34, Vegas 31, face off percentage, Edmonton 43%, Vegas 57, power play. And like I said, Edmonton's power play are freaking dangerous as heck. Do not let them go on the power play. I don't know why Vegas had got that five minute major power penalty, but it just happened. Edmonton got three out of four power plays. They scored on three out of four power plays. Vegas scored on two of seven. Healthy minutes, Edmonton got 14, Vegas got 21. Hits, got tied at 24. Blocks! Edmonton 13, Vegas 15. Giveaways, Edmonton 14, Vegas 6. So, like I said, the giveaways, the team with the more giveaways in the end, does end up likely to losing the game. I know lots of people are probably like, yeah, that's obvious, but there's times where that isn't the case. So, anyways, Edmonton Oilers. Let's see how their players did. If it lets me scroll down. So Hyman got two a goal and a two points. And then Hopkins two points and then McDavid two goals and two points. All like two players got goals here. So then def their defense though. Shark got two points and minus one. CC got minus one. Echo minus two. Tem 
Wait, they, they, they put in both their goalies here. Actually, they, I meant to actually put in both their goalies. What the heck? So, Campbell saved everything. But Skinner let in... Wait, actually, well, don't quote me on that. Yeah, Skinner ended up saving 18, 18 out of 22 shots. So, Eichel had a 1.000. Had a point eight eight eighteen. Looks like Edmonton should be playing skin, uh, Campbell more, but I I don't want to give him any tips because I'm a Vegas fan. So don't listen to me, Oilers. Uh, so Jack Eichel, one goal, three points. Smith, one goal, one point. The goal was his one point. Barbers have one point. Stone, one goal, one point. Carlson, one point. Marsh, got three points. Then defense, White Cloud, one, plus one. McNamara, plus one. Hi, one point. I like one goal, one point, plus one. Martinez, one point, and a plus one. And that was it for the defense. Adam Hill, he ended up letting 30. He ended up only letting in three. Four goals, so 31 out of 34. And it was a 0.912 save percent. He ended up with 0.912 save percent. So, thank y'all for watching. And hopefully, we ended up missing 736 frames due to running lag and 118 due to encoding lag. But, anyways, wasn't enough for. It to pop up on the draw frames net for network reasons. So Wi-Fi wasn't the reason for this. It was actually my CPU. So thank you for watching, and hope you all enjoy. I will be doing. I'm hoping, like, if I don't get, like, we'll see when game six of this is. It's on a Sunday, so Mother's Day, so. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not saying right now I'm gonna I'm gonna stream because it is Mother's Day, and oh, you gotta spend time with your mother on the day. We'll see what happens. If it's an early game, then no stream. But if it's a late night stream, then maybe because Fear the Walking Dead's also returning that night. So we'll see. We'll see. So thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. And as always, stay safe and wear a helmet. And check out the Discord. The link is in, is pinned right now. And also, if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, Tell J Studios 2, it'll be in the it'll be in the comments. Check the comments always. I always put those links in the comments. So thank y'all for watching. And as always, stay safe and wear a helmet. Bye bye.